Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Vintage Collection figure review, the first of a group of three reviews that I'll be doing over the next few days. Um, very excited that these have shown up in uh, stores here in Australia, namely uh, EB Games in Pop Culture. Um, yeah, I was ex these were, I believe, Target exclusives in the US, um, and it was looking more and more likely that they weren't going to come out anywhere down here. Um, so yeah, very grateful that they have shown up. I was able to pick up uh, Migs, uh, Costco Reeves, and Axe Woves. Um, I have been sort of scouring eBay for, you know, cheap-ish, you know, reasonably affordable versions of these figures, but um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to resort to eBay prices because it's it's ridiculous. Um, you know, the second-hand market can be can be very very brutal sometimes. So <laughs> I'm very excited. We're going to start off with Migs Migs Mayfeld here. Um, this is a nice looking figure. Um, Goes nicely with the Din Djarin, um, which I have. Um, there is, I believe, a running change where they have gotten rid of the red band of armour on his right sleeve there. Um, because, yeah, you can even see on the picture it's not there. There's just a simple reuse of the, of the figure. Um, even though it's probably technically an additional paint app, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but, yeah, whether or not they just take the same bodies off the production line, slap Bill Burr's head on it, and... Um, there you are. But that's okay, it's not a big deta detail for me, it's not such a big deal. Um, so yeah, this will be a first run, VC229. So you're looking on the back here, if I just move the camera up, we have the Mithril, Quill, Bib Fortuna, Lobot, Cosca Reeves, Bo-Katan, Axe, Woves, and Mix. So have done those previous five Migs now. Next will be Cosca and Axe, so stay tuned for those two videos coming up in the next couple of days. So yeah, love love the card art. Nice picture of a uh, old Billy, old Billy. Look at him, what a guy. Nah, he's a you know very good comedian, and uh, yeah, he certainly, particularly in this episode, which this is based on, he he definitely proved himself as an actor. Um, he's been in some other good stuff. He's been in uh, Breaking Bad. Uh, he was in that movie with, uh, what's his face? <laughs> Completely blanking now, but yeah, no, he's, I think he's definitely established himself as a, as a good actor as well. And you know, his podcast is funny as hell. So let's crack open Migs and take a look at the figure. All right. So here he is in the bubble. Get his weapon out. So in terms of accessories, same as the black series version of, of Migs. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm digging the look of this figure. I think he looks quite good. I'm just going to move my camera up a little bit closer. There we go. So there he is. Honestly, I think that's... Uh, it's honestly looking a little bit nicer than the Black Series one. Just because the Black Series one had a little bit more sort of gloss about it. Um, whereas this vintage collection version looks... You know, it's a nice sort of matte painted finish on the, on the head there. Oh, Billy bald head. So yeah, that's the uh, red armor band that I was telling you about. This, uh, I believe, has been uh, corrected in uh, more recent releases. Um, so yeah, more than likely, this is the version we're going to be able to get in Australia. There'll be no sort of um, fixed version released down here. I doubt it very much. But yeah, as you can see, he does have the blaster pistol there and the helmet which does fit on nicely, but you know, he wore it for a matter of seconds before he got frustrated and took it off, so probably going to leave it off. Um, you know, I'd love to get some of those Imperials from the Imperial base in that episode. That's just That was such a fantastic episode of Mandalorian, season two, second last episode. Really nice. So yeah, they've done a fantastic job with this figure. Um, yeah, don't have the Din Djarin offhand uh, to see whether it's, you know, exactly the same in terms of, like, the paint details with the weathering and the scratched-up armour and stuff like that. I'm not sure. Um, down here on the legs. So this sort of dirty look to the boots. It looks good. Sort of dust and dirt. But, boy, if we could get one of those, get one of those tanks for these guys to sit in, that would be absolutely awesome. That'd be so good. 
yeah, really loving the uh, character collection selection they're putting out with the uh, Mandalorian three and three quarter inch figures. They're really doing a lot. Um, I know they're doing the season one version of Migs in Black Series, so hopefully we get a vintage collection release of him as well. Um, and the other crew from the from the Prisoners episode um, in season one as well. That'd be really cool. So yeah, digging this armor as well. You know, it's sort of a mix between like a short trooper and um, was it the AT ACT? No, it was the the Imperial Tank Commander from Rogue One. So a similar helmet. So yeah, I love the sort of the mash together amalgamation of different armor types in the Imperial Army. I think it's good. But yeah, it's a nice figure. Really, really nice. I'm a big fan of the helmet. I think it looks great. Yeah, that's a that's a really really nice head sculpt. I've really uh I've really nailed the uh Bill Burr look there. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please send down the comments below. Be up next with whoever comes first out of the other two. They're just sitting next to me, so we'll, we'll just grab one and uh, be reviewing that. So stay tuned for that in the next sort of 24 hours, I guess, from the release of this one. I appreciate your tuning in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you.